Washington says there will be no penalties for its mayor or staff for the dismantling of the Fredericton Occupy Camp two years ago. The city agreed to pay protesters more than $14,000 and issued an apology earlier this month. Angela Chang is live in Fredericton and has the latest on this story. Angela. Amy, a closed-door meeting was held before City Council tonight. Deputy Mayor Stephen Chase says Council voted unanimously to support the mayor in his handling of the Occupy issue. The Occupy camp was removed by city staff on January 3, 2012. Three protesters filed a small claims lawsuit against the city, Mayor Brad Woodside, and the city's director of engineering and public works, Marie Jamer. In a news conference on January 6th, Mayor Woodside acknowledged the city's actions weren't right. Legally, it was not the right thing to do. I accept that. I apologize. But the bottom line is, that mess is no longer there. Following the closed-door meeting in Fredericton tonight, Deputy Mayor Stephen Chase says there will be no penalties for anyone named in the suit. I think at all times, you know, council acts with the best due diligence that it can. And, uh, you know, sometimes there may be... Uh, you know, there may be oversights. Uh, in, the, in the end, I think uh, because there was an out-of-court settlement and it was mutually arrived at between the parties, that uh, that was the right thing to do. Chase says the $14,350 settlement made to protesters did come from taxpayer money. The activity carried out by the mayor was uh, you know, with the support and uh, with the consent of council. And uh, so throughout the process, it was a matter of the city of Fredericton had under its administration. And uh, so it was felt that it was appropriate, entirely appropriate, that the, uh, the city underwrite those expenses. Amy, I spoke with protester Julian Renault tonight. He says he's disappointed the discussion about the Occupy settlement was held behind closed doors, and he's not happy that taxpayers are footing the bill. He says he always felt the way council handled this matter would show what kind of city Fredericton is, and for him, it just did. Amy? All right, thanks for that, Angela. Angela Chang, live in Fredericton tonight.